that uh, vegetation condition index, vegetation health index, and vegetation temperature condition index. So mainly these three types of index we are used for that growth monitoring uh, and how we can be using the Google Earth Engine platform. I also show you the process. So basically you can see this is the broad index formula about that PCI, PCI and VSI. So mainly in this time we are just use the three types of formula. PCI formula, PCI formula and VSI formula. Vegetation health VSI. index. Uh -huh. So basically you can see VSI is mainly the combination of the VCI and PCI. So vegetation condition index and temperature condition index we have to calculate when you want to make the VSI. So for that, first of all, we need to create the VCI and PCI. Then using the VCI and PCI, we need to create the VSI for that using this formula. So basically, VCI is the NDVI minus NDVI mean divided by NDVI max minus NDVI mean. Suppose uh, you have a ma NDVI map, okay? So NDVI pixel value, okay? So we have to find out the what is the minimum and what is the maximum. So NDVI pixel value minus NDVI minimum pixel value divided by NDVI maximum pixel value minus NDVI uh, minimum pixel value. Then we can get the VCI. Uh, TCI or temperature is the same. So temperature, maximum temperature, suppose we have a temperature map about that. It can be a land surface temperature. So from that, it identify about the maximum temperature minus suppose any pixel value of temperature divided by maximum minus minimum temperature then we can get the pci and finally vsi just we can use the formula so alpha is the alpha is the div, uh, different for that uh, different uh, it's not a fix about that so this value is, uh, is not constant it's as a variable about that so now let's show the code about that and if and then we also put here the different types of range suppose VCI is the less than 10, we should consider it's a low drought or high drought. So different types of friends we are just set and then put the result. Then this time you can see this is the VCI, vegetation condition index. So basically we can find out this type of region. Uh, it's a mangrove region also you can see this type of region. We can get the better vegetation. Okay. And this type of region, uh, it's vegetation condition index is not good about that. There is the stress, but we are also make the classified. Suppose I just simply download this map as a TIFF format and open in the ArcMap software and then set the pixel value range. Okay, just classified. Suppose this hmm. pixel value I consider it is the uh, uh, load, uh, yeah, just make the classified about then we can get the road classification map. Also, you can see the PCI is the temperature condition index map. So it's loaded. The temperature condition index map. And finally, we can get the vegetation health index. So, vegetation health index mainly combine the two form, uh, two TPMs, PCI and VCI. Just I show you that you can you can get the result. Vegetation health index about this map. So, mainly uh, this region, the broad region, okay, the low vegetation health index. Find out for also for this region. So now what can I do for that? So in this time we have need the two data. One is the vegetation data, another we need about the LST data or land surface temperature data. So in this time we are just use at the MODIS data set. Okay. But uh, land set data is also possible, but then we have to need the lot of calculation about that because we did not get the LST for the land set. Ready made data set is not provided, but MODIS. We can easily get the ready-made data set for vegetation and LST, ready-made data set we can easily get for that. You can see, uh, it is the 16-day global NDVI and 8-day, LST is the 8-day. Okay. In this time, we face the problem is that their time interval is not same, 16-day and 8-day. Okay. So in this time, anyhow, I need to create the same time period for getting the proper result. Suppose in this time, this LST, I need to convert into 16-day interval because NDV is the 16 day interval okay so for that we have to use a package and we can set the time period you can see 2015 uh, 1st January to December okay this is my time period about that for the one month condition for the VSI so now from here we are just simply set the time period all of those things okay the same process 
and then make the NDVI map and LST map. And this is the very important about this is the package. Okay. So basically, there is a lot of code in here, but this package we are just you can see package in in here. So this is the code which I selected. It packages this package mainly convert the eight day LST into sixteen day. Okay. So this package we are just simply use here the package variable name. You can see. Uh, this is the package variable name. Uh, that we can put at the 16. Okay, so now we are also get the LST. Basically, LST modis is the 8 day, but when I add the package, I can get the LST in the 16 day. Okay, so then we can simply uh, add the result about that. We need to also reproject it the scale value for modis NDVI and LST. Okay, and then simply you can see we find out the VCI, calculate the VCI. So for the we have to create the for the VCI, we have to find out the minimum and maximum NDVI. Okay, then put the formula look like that. We put the formula and calculate the VCI. And finally, also TCI is the same. Okay, we find out the maximum temperature and minimum temperature. Okay, and using the two things, we can simply uh, add here the VSI. Okay, so just calculate the VSI. You can see the VSI. You just simply put the formula about the VSI. And then uh, use that the VC and PCA about that. So now we are get the uh, look like this result about the VSI and PCA. And now we are just use here the different types of range about that. Suppose PNC I simply search here VCI. Just simply search here about the. Huh? In this time we are just uh, put here the some range about that. Suppose uh, VCI TCI. Broad. Okay. Suppose you can see here they are already provide about this type of form. Suppose in this time they are put the extreme drought greater less than 10. Okay, when the TCI, VC, and VS value less than 10, we can get the extreme drought. Less than 20, severe drought. Less than 30, moderate drought. Less than 40, we can get the mild drought. And greater than 40, we can get the no drought. Okay. So this type of uh, range we can easily apply the, after downloading a TP image. Uh, we can simply classify using the ArcMap software and then then simply find out the drought using the VCI, TCI, and VSI. So basically, this is the process about the VCI. Okay. Suppose in this time I want to just apply the code for your uh, for your region. So for that I simply just see here simply import your study area. Just simply copy this table ID from here, and then uh, and I put okay or put that post just click put and I put the name such as China because very well can anything I copy the copy the name and paste here so now I can get the result for your study area. So run. So now it calculated the. What is the condition about the VCI, TCI, and VSI for this study area? Year of 2015, 15, January to December.
is a BASI, PI, and PCI. Result for that, Bayesian Condition Index. Simply download from here and then make the uh, different pixel range and then classify it for the growth. 